Attention all shoppers, grocery prices in the US have been plummeting for almost a year now, which is great news for the average consumer, but not so great for the people actually producing and distributing the food. According to the US Department of Labor, grocery store staples are significantly cheaper now than they were in 2015. The average price of a dozen eggs dropped a little more than a dollar. A gallon of milk is about 40 cents cheaper, and a pound of ground beef is down about 50 cents. Here's why. The US's food supply has continued to grow, but demand for those products overseas has declined. This is especially true in countries like China, where the American dollar is continuing to get stronger, making goods from the US even more expensive. As a result, American shoppers are enjoying what could be the longest streak of falling food prices in 50 years. And they're not complaining. But while consumers happily stock up at the store, supermarkets and farmers are getting hit where it really hurts, their wallets. Grocery stores are facing an increase in food deflation, which has sparked what analysts are calling a price war among them. And farmers are getting less for their milk, cheese, and cattle. Experts say food prices could continue to drop until the end of 2016. But not every product is getting cheaper. Some fruits and vegetables have actually gotten pricier this year thanks to a drought in California. For Newsy, I'm Catherine Beek.